Are you wait wait? Pen is there? Where is the pen? Use this side. Start. Hi everyone. Welcome to amazing channel of Brilliant Katha. When you are rubbing one body with another body, electrons are transferred from two, from one object to what? Another object. Okay, this process, this type of electricity is been given a name. Halogen connected carbon sp3, then it's connected to benzene. See all of you, halogen connected. What is this carbon hybridization? Full single bond sp3, see then a benzene ring. Denominator poles shouldn't be included in the, the denominator handle, poles. And that means the denominator, this minus 1 and minus 5 should never be included, should never be included in the solution. Homo circle caudal fin. It's giving two equal lobes. But in case of cartilage fishes, look at here, one big lobe is there, one small lobe is there. You cannot cut into two equal half this fin. Hello students, good evening you all, welcome to Brilliant Qatar. We have been discussing different type of what they call questions from Animal Kingdom chapter. I hope you all are seriously preparing at home because our exam is very near. A neat exam May 5th, our target is MBBS seat, right? So all of you I hope at home properly practicing 11th grade chapters. 12th grade I hope you all are very good but 11th grade I have been identifying the class your 11th grade chapters are very very weak especially plant and animal kingdom chapters you need to remember the examples especially examples examples if you don't know a particular example is belongs to a particular phylum if you don't know it's very difficult to answer in competitive purpose so my dear kids i am requesting you all once again all of you go through the example insanity example write in white paper all the invertebrate phylums from porifera to hemichordata you got my point and examples and vertebrata entire vertebrata eudocordata cephalocordata vertebrata examples i given a possible all mnemonics to remember the examples of each phylum but at home when you are practicing questions characteristic features an example whenever you see the question immediately immediately you should be perfect that this example is belong to this phylum otherwise it is very difficult to get the answer and one more important thing last year from this chapter two three to four questions one chapter four questions four fours are that means one question carry four marks in the neat exam four questions from one chapter that's why animal kingdom is most high weightage chapter my dear kids plant kingdom animal kingdom chapters do not ignore in plant kingdom chapter also you just try to do like this uh, bryophyte examples of bryophyte moses liverwort you got my point thallophyta brown alga red alga green alga examples and pteridophyta example gymnosperm examples you got my point all the examples try to make yourself notes you got my point so in this class i am going to discuss 20 mcq question from entire animal kingdom chapter this session 100 percent help you to get the good marks in the annual examination that means neat examination look at the first question the first question this question i given in the uh, daily practice test daily practice paper many of the student many of the students are given the correct answer but few students are confused i think so look at here what is given in this question which of the following is a monoecious how many times i said mono single if a male female sex organ in the same individual called monoecious dioecious male separate female separate when you are getting confusion between monoecious and dioecious remember us you remember human being human beings are male completely separate female completely separate we are di dioecious 
You got my point? Dioecious is also called unisexual. Monoecious also called, tell me, bisexual. This is a bisexual. They are asking what, tell me, bisexual. Monoecious is a bisexual. Now, look at here. There are the different, different type of organisms are given here. Now, if you, if you read Ascaris, Ucheraria, Encyclostoma, these three are actually belongs to Ascalmenthes. In the course of evolution, when we discuss the entire classification of invertebrate, Ascalmenthes onwards first phylum in Ascalmenth is sexes separate porifera cylindrata tenophora platelmenth sexes are in the same individual hermaprodites do you remember hermaprodites but in Ascalmenth is male worm female worm separate I told you sexual dimorphism the male worm is shorter than the female worm and the male worm has a curved tail with small pineal spicules are present I said you got and two within tube type of arrangement also in where nematode I said. But I remember if you don't know these all organisms are belongs to a particular phylum, it is very difficult to answer. I'm telling you that's why I, I have been shouting. Try to understand whenever you look at the question, whenever you look at the organism name, this organism belongs to this particular phylum. Try to get. If it is come in your mind, it will be very easy to answer. Now, Ascaris, Ucheraria, and also Encyclostoma, all three are Ascalmenthes. That means male females are separated. Dioecious. Come to here, Neris, Peritima, Hirudinaria. These three are belongs to what? Anelida. But if you are able to recall my class, what I said? In Anelida, Neris is an aquatic Anelida, unisexual, I said. You got my point? So here, peritima, that means earthworm and hirudinaria, leech, both are bisexual beta, bisexual, remember, neris is actually aneleda, but it is a unisexual word, unisexual word, and one more important the characteristic feature of neris, I told you in neris, parapodia are present, parapodia, parapodia for what purpose I said, parapodia, kavya, ridya, what is the use of parapodia? Parapodias are the small lateral appendages just for swimming locomotion purpose so parapodias are exclusively seen in where neris so answer me neris is unisexual near male neris female neris are they separate now here a peritima that means detritivores, words our earthworm peritima postma hyrodinaria granulosa that means leech these two are bisexual that means monoecious so answer is option two that means two is the two are the monoecious one monoecious one you got my point you got my point so keep in mind all of you if you if you don't know which phylum which organism belongs to which phylum it's difficult my dear kids difficult to understand and difficult to give answer till here everything clear shall we go to the next question look at the next question the next question this is a parapodia this is a parapodia question look at the parapodia question what is given the parapodia hi hi hello how are you usna good better look at here this question which of the following is correct about the parapodia what are parapodias parapodias are lateral appendages of nearest aneleda used for locomotion what type of locomotion swimming Yes or no? One more time I am repeating beta. If you go back, if you go back, in hyrodin area, suckers are there for locomotion. Suckers are there. In peritima, seeds are there. Seeds are also called keats. Keats, we can, we can say. Based on this, keats only, actually, phylum anelida divided into three classes. Polyketa, oligoketa, hyrodin area. But that much of deep it is not there in the NCRIT. But remember, Seeds are the locomotory structures in where peritima, that means earthworm. Longitudinal and circular muscles are help in locomotion is given in CRIT. You have to write that. And here the sucker locomotion is there. Come here. Parapodias are exclusively seen in, tell me, nearest. Nearest. So what exactly they are asking correct about the parapodia? Tell me, they are longitudinal muscles which help in the locomotion. They are not muscles. They are lateral appendages. They are not muscles, lateral appendages. Now, they are circular muscles, leave it. They help in the swimming, correct. They are dorsal appendages. They are not dorsal, they are lateral beta, lateral appendages. So, answer is option C. Option C, Sabas, very good, very good. Usna, correct. So, lateral appendages. Sometimes you will get a question. Which of the following is not a characteristic feature of mollusca? Parapodias are present in mollusca. Which of the following is not a characteristic feature of arthropoda? Parapodias are seen in arthropoda. Remember, remember, my dear kids, parapodia exclusively seen in anelida. Parapodia only seen in neres. 
Got my point? Don't get confused among the options. I'm moreover statement based question thoroughly prepare. Because in statement based question, one question can cover four, four phylums. You need to be very careful. Last year to last year, but two years back, statement based questions are very high in need exam. Four, five statements they are giving, one, two correct, three, four correct, one, three correct, difficult questions better. So I am requesting you all, day one onwards I have been shouting, practice statement based questions. Statement, eat the NCRT, grind the NCRT, filter the NCRT, each and every line of NCRT you should remember. Look at you, like this, like this, statement based questions come, statement based questions come, how can we solve this one? If you are not perfect in the all phylum, it will, one question will consume three minutes, four minutes, we have only 180 minutes, physics, chemistry will wait there if you start with the biology 100 questions out of 190 we should write got my point and uh, physics chemistry is waiting so if you are consuming three four minutes for one question there is very very difficult for physics and chemistry following incorrect about the mollusca incorrect about mollusca say something that about the mollusca soft body second largest phylum body divided into head part foot part and also visceral hump part federal gills feathery gills are there excretion and osmoregulation radula in the mouth unsegmented body yes or no? these are the prim primary characteristic feature fat effort fat effort we should know this is all the characteristic feature now look at what is given mouth contain file like rasping organ called radula statement correct they are asking incorrect statement they are asking first statement correct radula gastropoda especially apple snake pila there is what radula is there next they are radially symmetrical they are bilateral symmetrical beta they are bilateral symmetrical if you if you able to recall first phylum asymmetry porifera asymmetry cylindrate tenophora radial symmetry adult echinodermata radial symmetry from platyal mantis to caudata bilateral symmetry how many times I said in the class? Bilateral symmetry. Here it is mollusca. Bilateral symmetry. So this statement is wrong. So second one is wrong. Come to the third one. The space between the hump and the mental, like, uh, called what? Mental cavity. Which feather like gills are present? Absolutely correct. These gills are called something. Any one of you tell me what is this gills called? This gills has been given a specific name. I forgot that. Can anyone of you help me out? Any one of you, Isham, Faiza, Kavya, any one of you tell me what is the specific name of this gill? The molluscan gill given has been given a specific term. First, 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 first. Any one of you, any one of you. Come on, come on, Usna, where are you? Answer me, Faiza, Ridya. Specific name has been given to this, what they call? Uh, uh, gills, Tinidia. What is the gills of this one? Tell me. Tinidia. Remember, beta, this type of questions can come. Tinidia. Nothing but gills of mollusca. Gills of mollusca perform in two functions. What are they? Respiration plus osmoregulation. Statement correct. Posterior end region has a sensory tentacle. Sensory tentacle always anterior beta it is not posterior this is also wrong statement wrong statement so how many statements are incorrect according to the question two and four statements are wrong so answer is what two and four option c are you with me are you there are you there uh, answer me are you there beta good so till here everything clear this is the incorrect statement it is not a posterior beta it is anterior it is what tell me anterior one keep in mind next next look at the next question question number four select from the following the total number of organisms that belongs to the phylum echinodermata echino spiny derm dermatologist skin spiny body spiny skin Water vascular system, excretory system is absent. Ambulatory system, water vascular system is there. Bilateral symmetry, larva, radial symmetry, adult. True silom is there. Organ system level of organization, external uh, internal fertil external fertilization, right? External fertilization. Even hemicordate also external fertilization. Now they are asking what? Example is given. They did not ask any characteristic feature. There are examples. Look at here. We'll find out. Locusta, arthropoda. Butterfly, arthropoda. Scorpion, arthropoda. Prawn, arthropoda. Sulfa. Do you remember this examples of SAD? That day I given you a mnemonic SAD or Sandeep sir also remember beta. First SAD stands for Sulfa, Doliolum, Acidion. These are the examples of Eurocordata. So let's leave it. Doliolum, Doliolum also Eurocordata. Pila, Mollusca, Chiton, Chiton also Mollusca. 
antidon this is called sea lily this is called what beta sea lily so this is echinoderm ophiura bristol star this is also echinoderm mixin cyclostomata locusta again form right leave it loligo mollusca asteriasis echinodermata cucumeria echinodermata one two three four answer is what ah sabas very good answer is four are echinoderms so tell me the common name of this one tell me asteriasis starfish cucumeria sea cucumber ah uh, ophiura 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 is called what tell me ophiura is called uh, bristol star and antidon antidon is sea lily answer is four option c are you with me you got my point ah remember with examples don't know katam we will never get the rank 100 percent i'm telling it's been long time i'm teaching for neat i know if you don't know the examples of plant and animal kingdom waste waste means waste don't apply to the need waste of money look at the next question question number five again statement based question about the hemichordate hemichordata belanoglosses succulogloses do you remember the theory class? I given a small, uh, uh, funny uh, concept about the hemichordates. Hemichordates will be always in the uh, uh, what they call tunnels, beta. They will not come out eating and reproduction. Everything in the tunnels. I said it is called acorn worm, worm-like structure. Acorn worm, proboscis, collar, and also last one is called what? Tell me, uh, tail. These three parts are there, right? Yes or no? Tail. Three parts are there. Look at here. They are bilaterally symmetrical. Absolutely correct. Triploblastic. Correct. See no base. Correct. This correct. What? the actual correct statement they are asking that be first statement correct beta the circulatory system is closed type of circulatory is given hemichordata what type of circulation hemichordata what type of circulation that in the class i clearly mentioned beta two phylums in invertebrata are open type of circulation one is arthropoda one is hemichordata i said Yes and ah, very good. So this statement is wrong. It is actually open type of circulation along with hemichordata. Arthropoda also open type of circulation. Mark my word. Every word should be very very important better for the need. Next, sexes are separate. Yes, fertilization external correct. Development is indirect development correct better. Ternary larva is there. We don't need to worry about that one. Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under the phylum of non chordate. In CRT, if it is there, open and see, it is given earlier, it is considered as the subphylum of card data, not non card data. So, this is also wrong statement. So, how many true statements beta? Statement number 1 is correct. Statement number 3 is correct. What is the answer? 1 and 3 is option number B is the right answer. 1 and 3 statement correct. I am correct? Correct. Beta. Ah, very good. Absolutely correct. Very good. Dia, correct beta. Usna, correct. Very good. Next question. Look at the next Next question. Next question is sixth question. C archin. C archin. C archin. Heart archin. Uh, C lily. Next. Uh C cucumber, this all are echinoderms. Tell me here. I am writing what tell me. C archin is echinus. Chiton, keto plura. Chiton is, I said, eight shells are there. Multiple shell mollusca. It is a multiple shell molluscan. Okay, my dear. Next, king crab, limulus. Limulus is king crab, living fossil of arthropoda. It is a living fossil of arthropoda. So, 2, 1, 3. Where is 2, 1, 3? 2, 1, 3, option A. Am I correct? Am I correct? Very good, very good, very good. Who is this? Ah, good, very, very good, very good. What about this question? What about this? Which one of the following statement incorrect? Again, incorrect statement. That means statement based questions are coming, my dear. Look at your incorrect statement. What is incorrect statement? Phylum chordata divided into three subphylum. Eurochordata, correct. That means tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Absolutely correct. Cephalochordatans are called lancelets. Eurochordatans called tunicates. We have we 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 discuss one point. All chordates are not vertebrates, but all vertebrates are chordates. Do you remember this one? So this three subphylum correct. Adult asteriasis exhibit the radial symmetry. Correct. Fasciola is pseudocoelomate. Next tinea is a triploblastic. Something wrong is there, my dear. Ah, good. 
यस एब्सोल्युटली उसना हियर इट इज गिवन व्हाट फेशियोला इज अ फ्लैट वॉर्म फ्लैट वॉर्म बेटा फ्लैट वॉर्म्स आर प्लैटेल मेंथिस प्लैटेल मेंथिस आर ए सीलोम ए सीलोमेट सीलोम इज नॉट देयर हाउ मेनी फाइलम्स आर ए सीलोम फोर फर्स्ट टू फोर पोरीफेरा नो जर्म लेयर्स नो टिश्यूज नो सीलोम सिलेंट्रेटा रेडियल सिमेट्री ए सीलोम टीनोफोरा रेडियल सिमेट्री ए सीलोम प्लैटेल मेंथिस ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक बाइलैटरल सिमेट्री ए सीलोम रिमेंबर But they given a pseudocilum. Then who will show the pseudocilum? Ask Kelmenthi show the pseudocilum. It is also known as nematoda. Nematoda show what? Beta pseudocilomate. Don't get confused. Read the option carefully. Take one sharp pencil, line by line, word by word. Read beta. Hundred percent you will get answer. We have we have discussing lot of questions. Pakka you will get good marks in final examination. You need to do all you need to do is read the option one more time. Two time you will pakka get the answer. Don't worry. What about this question? Question number eight. Ah, this is actually cartilage fish. Saw fish. Cartilage fish. Two diagrams given in series. One is called scoliodon dogfish. One is called pristis. Okay. This is a saw fish. Look at here. Identify the incorrect statement about this type of cart fishes. This is I'm writing here. It is cartilage fish, chondrichthyes fish, chondrichthyes fish. Chondrichthyes fish characteristic feature we already learned. No tocoid process throughout life. Their strongest jaws and predators. Placoid scales are there. Operculum absent. Naked gills are there. Heterocircle caudal fin. Air bladder absent. Ah, uh, clasper is there that uh, uh, male uh, copulatory organ. Ah, uh, internal fertilization, oviparous. This all are the characteristic feature. Chalo, we'll do. They are marine animals with streamlined body and cartilage endoskeleton. Hold a minute. Hold a minute. All of you, Rudya, Usna, everyone, keep in mind. Visa. Two classes: cartilage fishes, bony fishes. My dear children, cartilage fishes are exclusively marine, beta. But bony fishes are marine plus freshwater. Read the NCERT. It is clearly mentioned. Marine fishes are separate. Bony, bony fishes. In case of bony, marine bony fishes are exocetus and hippocampus. Freshwater catla, channa, roho, bigala. This all given. Aquarium fishes also given like beta and also what they call beta angel fish, fighting fish, angel fish are aquarium fishes. In case of this cartilage fishes is completely cartilage uh, marine. Completely marine statement correct statement correct they are asking incorrect statement ah incorrect statement but something wrong mouth is located ventrally correct this a ventral mouth no tocoid process throughout life correct right beta teeth are modified tenoid tenoidic scale tenoid or what what kind of scales beta I forgot any one of you tell me ah usna what kind of what kind of scales are there. What kind of scales are they? Tell me. This is actually placoid. What type of scales? Placoid, not tenoid. Tenoid cosmoid scales are in bony fishes. Bony fishes, beta. This is not a bony fish. So, which backward direction? No, wrong. Next, uh, some of them are electric organ trigon. Electric organ fishes, I think, terido, terpedo. Terpedo is there in Sierra. It's a turbid electric fish, but the trigon is given better. Trigon is stingfish, poisonous stingfish. So this also wrong. This also wrong. Next, uh, the female pelvic fins bears a clasper. Clasper present in where, my dear? Male fishes. Clasper present in the male fishes, right? So this is also wrong. That is given. If clasper is in the male fishes, so leave it this one. So how many wrong? Tell me here. How many wrong? Wrong number one is three, right? Four. Right, five. Where is three, four, five? Right, three, four, five is option D. Am I correct? Am I correct, my dear? Yes, very good, very good, absolutely correct. This is cartilage fishes statement based question. So if you know and tie the characteristic feature of cartilage cartilage fishes, very easy to answer, my dear. If a one topic, one characteristic is characteristic which is also not there, no, you cannot answer and minus marks will be good. Take care, carefully try to answer. Which of the following statements? Uh, Consider the following statements. We will consider. Lancelets are jawless, primitive fish-like invertebrate. My God, I told you what what I said in the class. Core data. This core data phylum. Core data phylum. 
divided into answer ah, before coordinate beta what is there uh, a gnata gnatostomata i said yes or no a gnata and gnatostomata a gnata gnatostomata sir actually vertebrates so this chordata divided into three sub phylums what is the first sub phylum urochordata cephalochordata yes or no vertebrata this vertebrates are two major division number one is called what tell me a gnata this a gnata a gnata a absence of gnata so what they call jaws jawless vertebrates second one is called gnatostomata gnatostomata gnato jaws teeth with uh, mouth with jaws you got my point the jaws are there here there is no jaws under uh, agnatha ostracoderm is cyclostomata i said this is a cyclostomata cyclo round sectorial stomata mouth sectorial mouth animals ectoparasite exclusively marine scales absent paid fins absent we discuss it is given beta there invertebrate oh my god if you don't know this much of a small 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 word khatam answer wrong minus marks that's why kids i'm telling you after exam 15 20 minutes after exam we are sending a key every day go home take a question paper cross check with the key open the textbook oh my god this place i have done mistake whenever you rectify whenever you cross check like this beta in your cerebrum in our brain the answer will be store answer will be fixed so the same question will come in the next examination you will never do a mistake repeat you will never repeat the mistake so this is incorrect statement in lancelet notochord tubular nerve and pharyngeal gill slits are throughout like that's why they are called typical chordate typical chordate i said so this is wrong this is correct where is the statement right first one is false but second one is true option b i am i correct option b yes or no yes or no yes option b is the right answer sir are you with me diya usna ridya isham are you there done beta look at the next question look at the next question question number 10 assertion and reason question assertion and reason this clearly i mentioned in the class number 1 radial symmetry in animals advantage in the determine the food and danger my dear students the the organism which are sessile the attached to a substrum they cannot locomote okay they show radial symmetry if you cut from the uh, central axis through any plane it will give what tell me two single halves ha, why why this type of organisms are showing radial symmetry to protect themselves from different type of dangerous for example i am sessile beta i am not moving i'm mo i'm not moving i'm standing like this i'm a sessile organism so i have a tentacle here 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 tentacle is there and radial symmetry so i am protecting myself if enemy can come back side enemy come can any side so i can protect myself so radial symmetry is one of the advantage to gather the food and also protect themselves from the danger this is this statement correct it allows the animal to be able to respond stimulus from the direction absolutely correct so answer is a this is a right explanation right answer yes both are true right one keep in mind this was two days back paper yes or not today's exam paper i'm going to now starting this paper was day before yesterday paper and today's exam paper this is 11 to 20 this 10 uh, 10 questions are today's exam paper i have already cross checked your answers i have cross checked your answers beta few students are done small uh, mistakes so now uh, rectify rectify realize we have very short period my dear kids which of the following characteristic which of cyclostomata character not character of cyclostomata it is a not character beta it is not a character what are the four important characteristic feature i said four important about the cyclostomata 6 to 15 pairs of gill slate present in the respiration right beta whenever 15 6 to 15 gill slates is there in the question paper sandeep sir said go to cyclostomata I am pakka. I am telling you, go to cyclostomata. In the entire animal kingdom, no other phylum, no other organism have six to fifteen pairs of gill slits. Are you with me? You got my point. So directly go to cyclostomata. Petromyzen and mixin. Out of this one, two identify. Petromyzen example or lamprey. Number one, mixin or hawkfish. Now sucking and uh, circular mouth without jaws. Correct. Body divide scales and paid fins. Correct. 
दे आर एंडो पैरासाइट वॉट रॉन्ग इन दिस वन यस एब्सोल्यूटली दे आर एक्टो पैरासाइट एक्टो पैरासाइट बेटा बिगेस्ट फिशेस ऑन द बॉडी दे सक दे अटैच एंड दे विल सर्वाइव दे सक द फूड मेटल फ्रॉम द होस्ट दे आर एक्टो बेटा एक्टो पैरासाइट दे आर एक्टो पैरासाइट सो वेन विल यू गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ आंसर इफ यू नो एंटायर डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द साइक्लोस्टोमेटा और दट पर्टिकुलर फाइलम otherwise no look at the next question question number 12 select the total number of organism which possess two chamber heart and poikilotherm wait fishes amphibians reptiles aves mammals aves and mammals two chamber of heart three chamber of heart three chamber of heart four chamber of heart Four chamber of heart done. Here exception is there. Crocodiles. Crocodiles are what tell me four chamber of heart done. One more important thing. Fishes. Two type of fishes. Cartilage fishes. Bony fishes. Bony fishes excrete ammonia. Cartilage fishes excrete urea. Amphibia urea. Reptiles and birds uric acid. Uric acid. Mammalia urea. Mammalia urea. Got my point. Fishes, cartilage fishes, internal fertilization. Bony fishes, external fertilization. Amphibians, external fertilization. Reptilia, aves. To what tell me? Internal fertilization. Internal fertilization. Done. So, better if you compare. Oh, okay, okay. This side, this class, this characteristic feature, this class, this character. Easy to get answer. Easy. I'm pakka. I'm telling you, it's been long time. I'm teaching. If you are comparing and writing the classes, ah, here it is uh, internal, here it is external. Here two chamber, here three chamber. Now tell me, here scales are there? Yes or no? Scales are there? Here moist skin, moist skin, no scales. Again here scales are there? Scales are there? No scales. So they are talking about what? Two chamber of heart, poikilotherm. My dear kids, first three classes only poikilotherm, cold blooded. Rest of all are what? That means birds and mammals are warm-blooded homeothermy. Now look at here. So scolodon fish one, pristis fish, clarius fish, beta fish, hippocampus fish, echinus no, echinodermata, devil fish no, octopus, cattle fish no, sepia, lily no, it is antidon, hyla right, next lebio right, catla right, terpedo right, trigon right. This all are fishes. Count the fishes one, two, three, four, five. Right, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine are there. Asano beta nine. This is a ten, right? Lebi also right. Lebi or Rohita also right. So answer is what? Tell me. Answer ten is coming, right? Ten is coming, right? One scolodon, one, two, three, clarius, beta, hippocampus. Ah, uh, here I am writing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hyla, hyla is correct, right? Correct, right, beta? Ah. Uh. Hyla, right. So here ten is coming, but where is ten? Ten, ten is the right answer actually. Ten is the right answer. You got my point? You got my point. Hyla, it is also what they call two chamber of heart. No, Hyla is actually amphibia. It is Hyla is actually amphibia, but you just cross check. Hyla is amphibia, so that means nine should come. Yes sir, no nine should come. This is the amphibia, so it is a nine should come. Where is the nine option? Option B is the right answer. Amphibia is a three chamber of heart. Hyla amphibia three chamber of heart. Ah, Hyla amphibia. Ah, yes, Hyla amphibia three chamber of heart. Ah, that is a three chamber of heart. The answer will become nine should come. Right, beta nine should come. Cross check once again. Cross check. Hyla, Bufo, Hyla, Ichthyophis, ah, Rana, Salamandra. This all are amphibians. Salamandra is what Eurodila. That means tail bearing. Uh, amphibian next which of the following is incorrect about the reptilia incorrect statement about the reptilia body is covered by dry dry and conifer skin correct epidermal scales and scutes are there correct they are asking incorrect statement incorrect statement beta body is divided into head part neck part trunk part and tail part okay fine heart is usually three chamber of heart okay fine respiration occur through gills and skin what is the wrong statement here incorrect statement is what absolutely which reptile will respire through skin re in reptilia lung respiration pulmonary respiration is there right in lepteria and also mammalia and bird pulmonary respiration is there they given a skin respiration so answer is option d 
आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सबास वेरी गुड दिया करेक्ट बेटा राइट हाँ हाँ हाइला फ्रॉग राइट गुड वेरी गुड बेटा हाइला फ्रॉग नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इनकरेक्ट अबाउट द बर्ड्स इनकरेक्ट बर्ड इनकरेक्ट एयर सैक इज कनेक्टेड टू लंग्स विच हेल्प इन द रेस्पिरेशन करेक्ट सबास हाइंड लिप्स पॉसेस स्केल्स आर मॉडिफाइड वॉकिंग स्विमिंग क्लास्पिंग पर्चिंग रनिंग करेक्ट सपरेट सेक्सेस सपरेट इंटरनल फर्टिलेशन ओविपेरस एंड डायरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट करेक्ट एंडो स्केल्टन कंसिस्ट ऑफ फेदर स्केल्स बीक एंड क्लाउड बेटा आफ्टर एग्जामिनेशन थ्री स्टूडेंट्स मैसेज में सर व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट इज द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन क्लियरली आई मेंशन एंडो स्केल्टन इज बोनी न्यूमेटिक बोन्स आर देयर होलो न्यूमेटिक बोन्स आई सेड थ्री कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ बर्ड्स फिक्स इन योर सेरेब्रम गिजार्ड क्रॉप एडिशनल चेंबर्स इन द एलिमेंटरी कैनाल नंबर 2 एयर सैक्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द अल्वियोल लंग्स नंबर 3 न्यूमेटिक बोन इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ बर्ड्स आई सेड बट दे आर गिवन एंडो स्केल्टन दिस ऑल आर एक्सो स्केल्टन बेटा सो एंडो स्केल्टन इज बोनी endo skeleton is what bony so incorrect statement is option d sabas yes 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 very good very good correct next question question number 15 again statement based question statement how many statements are five statement given select the total number of correct statement from the following from the following cylindrates have tentacles and bear nidoblast correct nidoblast or nematocytes present in tentacles for anchorage defense and capture of prey i said and alternation generation also present in the cylindrate i said polyp and medusa tinophora are marine animals with comb plates correct comb plates are eight for locomotion i said bioluminescence only sexual reproduction exclusively marine comb jellies and uh, sea walnuts are common name plurobranchia and uh, tinoplana example annelida uh, are metamorphically segmented animals without uh, true coelom beta in the class i clearly mention the whole invertebrate king uh, phylum from annelida true coelom started annelida arthropoda mollusca echinoderma hey, beta hemichorida chordata true coelom First of all, a silom. Fifth, pseudo silom. Sixth one, what to last? True silom. They are given without a true silom is given. So statement wrong. Three is wrong. The echinoderm possesses the water vascular. Correct. Ambulatory system. Water vascular system for locomotion, respiration, exchange of waste, excretion, respiration. You got my point. This is ambulatory system. In there, uh, echinoderm beta. Canal system in porifera. Hemichordata are small group of worm like marine animals characterized by the cylindrical body with proboscis collar and trunk correct so how many statements are correct eh? how many 1 2 1 2 is correct and uh, fourth one correct fifth one correct that been four statement correct option option what is the correct answer correct answer is four statements correct option c i am correct done beta four statements correct out of five so answer c right very good very good next question what about this what is this tell me this is the pila apple snail it is also called pila globulosa full scientific name this is the molluscan snail molluscan apple snail mollusca gastropoda okay class is gastropoda phylum artho uh, phylum mollusca the all all features all the features of represent the organism which is shown in the diagram except except the given they belong to the second largest phylum yes body is segmented and covered with the calcareous shell triploblastic and coelom mental cavity present something wrong beta something wrong some yes 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 absolutely thousand time i shouted molluscan sir unsegmented beta unsegmented annelida arthropoda are segmented body metamerism but this is a mollusca soft body meaning of mollusca is what soft body arthropoda are do joints poda legs pores legs arthropoda jointed appendages annelida uh, segmented body arthropoda jointed appendages mollusca soft body echinodermata uh, spiny body porifera pore bearing animal cylindrata gastrovascular cavity animal tinophora tino uh, complex animals 
फ्लाट एलमेंट इज डोर्सिवेंटली कंप्रेस्ड फ्लैट वॉर्म निमेट एलमेंट इज राउंड वॉर्म एवरी फाइलम है स्पेसिफिक नेम बेटा स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग फाइलम नेम स्पेसिफिक मीनिंग हियर इट इज गिवन व्हाट अनसेगमेंटेड बेटा दिस इज नॉट सेगमेंटेड अनसेगमेंटेड सो दे आर आस्किंग एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर कीप इन माइंड कीप इन माइंड क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 Now, cyclostomes are marine but migrated to swamping. Migrated for swamping to fresh water. Okay, cyclostomata, especially Petromyzon. Actually, they are marine for breeding, for hatching of eggs. They migrate from marine water to fresh water, and they lay they they lay their eggs in the fresh water. And after few days, mother die there. Where in fresh water? So in fresh water, uh, eggs will hatch. Larvae come. Larvae migrate from fresh water back to marine water. Anadromous, catadromous migration, beta. Anadromous, catadromous migration. So the statement correct. Larva of Cyclostomata is metamorphosed. Metamorphosed in the marine water. No, in fresh water. in fresh water because where is the larva larva hatches in the fresh water so answer is what no 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 answer is option c it is not b mother cyclostomata went to fresh water lay their eggs eggs will hatch in fresh water larva come larva from fresh water back to marine water what they mention metamorphose in the marine water no in fresh water so it's a wrong statement i hope all are giving true sir ah, dia mark beta usna it's not correct my dear realize rectify this mistake question number 18 which one of the following statement about the all four spongella spongella means something beta spongella have a characteristic feature one specific character tell me any one of you faiza kavya what is this spongella spongella have a specific unique characteristic feature come on any one of you tell me this spongella is something my dear spongella is the porifera ah fresh water porifera fresh water spongy you spongy or bath spongy spongella is what uh, fresh water spongy keep in mind in the exam in the exam if question come all poriferans are marine no 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 wrong statement in the question all mammals are viviparous wrong uh, ornithorhynchus is egg laying mammal in the question all reptiles are three chamber of heart wrong crocodile four chamber of heart exception is there all vertebrates are uh, sir all chordates are vertebrates no there is a exception eurocordate cephalocordate so not vertebrates so keep in mind try to understand read the question carefully there are exceptions in cylindrata cylindrata also all all are not marine hydra is fresh water exception is there you got my point next uh, cyclostomata uh, sorry condictis ostictis no exception all cartilage all bony here next uh, that is spongella okay leech leech is anelida dolphin mammal penguin bird and the correct ask there is correct there is a correct statement about spongella porifera leech anelida dolphin mammalia penguin bird penguin is a homeothermic while remaining three are poikilothermic what about dolphin wrong statement leave it leech is fresh water while all others are marine water what about dolphin what about uh, what the call better this penguin leave it it is also not correct spongella has a special collar co uh, uh, collarate This is called col. Uh, this is actually better colloblast cells, or was it not colloblast cell? Collar cells. It is also called coyanocyte cells. Coyanocyte cell. Ah, look at it. It's called coyanocyte cells. These are collarate cells or coyanocyte cells are exclusive in porifera. If you able to recall my class, this is what they call better spongy spongy diagram. I said right. These are actually sedentary. I said. Right, these are sedentary. If you able to recall, I said there are small, small, minute openings. Are there better? These minute openings are known as what? Ostia. I said, does it know? These are the ostia, like this. Ostia. Now this is one cell. This is a second cell, third cell, fourth cell, like this. They are multicellular. 
they are multicellular this biggest the small small openings between the two cells is called what ostia this one is called osculum yes or no osculum what about the inner one inner one with the special what they call collar cells this is known as twisted pinacoderm coenoderm this is the coenoderm this is called spongo cell this is called mesoglia here collar cells are there here collar cells are there or coenocyte cells coenocyte cells are exclusively seen in the spongilla ah sorry porifera statement correct now and uh, not found in remaining three yes absolutely correct all are bilateral symmetry if all are bilateral symmetry what about spongilla spongilla asymmetry spongilla poriferans are oh, most of the sponges are asymmetry is given right so answer is what option c is the right answer question number 19 differ frogs differ from human human in processing class amphibia when i was explaining about the frog rana tigrina nectitating membrane tympanum cloacal aperture skin limbs amplexary pads voice vocal cords next to what i said uh, fertilization method blood blood rbc consist in nucleus i said you human rbc enucleated no nucleus human rbc are no nucleus is there beta paired cerebral hemisphere correct hepatic uh, yes hepatic portal system we will discuss this hepatic portal system in body fluid and circulation chapter also nucleated red blood cell yes this one this is the one with human it is going to be differ both are myogenic heart our also Myogenic heart and a frog also myogenic heart. SA node made up of what muscles, special muscles. And thyroid gland as well as parathyroid. Everything correct only. One is nucleated is present in RBC. Nucleus present in RBC. That's why if you are able to recall in PCR method we discuss. If anyone wanted to isolate the DNA and amplify the DNA in the crime area if you go. If a small blood sample is available there. From there if you use RBC cells are there better useless. Because in RBC nucleus is there. If nucleus is not the DNA is not available. Right next last question external fertilization found in external fertilization very simple very 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 simple look at stingray that mean cartilage fishes internal fertilization flying fish bony fish bony fish beta it is a marine marine bony fish this is called flying fish is called what beta if i am not exocetus Pfizer, correct beta, exocetus or not, exocetus, nothing but flying fish. Flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse, two are marine bony fishes. Next, uh, sawfish, cartilage, again cartilage. Dogfish, scoliodon, again cartilage fishes, again cartilage fishes. My dear little kids, remember all of you, in case of five vertebrates, fishes, cartilage fishes internal fertilization bony fishes external fertilization amphibia external fertilization rest of all are internal fertilization rest of all are internal fertilization fix fix in mind in case of mammalia class three type of mammals are there pouch mammals marsupilians placental mammals and egg laying mammals ornithorhynchus the uh, platypus duck bell platypus so mammals also if a question come all mammals are viviparous wrong wrong statement exception is there so these are the 20 important questions beta tomorrow's paper is anatomy of flooring plant chapter and next when we are having the crash class i will give you the whole chapter of animal kingdom and cell is the unit of life chapter which already started prokaryotic cell structure done next to eukaryotic all organelles i am going to finish all of you practice at home thoroughly more practice beta more practice will make Make you perfect all of you practice lot of questions any chapter respiration plant kingdom any chapter require contact any one of us we will always help you beta our target is 700 out of 720 700 visa ridya usna isham 700 dia 700 target we should be in a top medical college in this year itself in this year brilliant will help you to, to get your dream medical medical dream mbbs dream so all of you follow the brilliant educational institution this channel brilliant channel youtube channel and next class we will discuss with new few questions different questions till that time bye bye all of you all the best good night